Books. You can do a coloring book for the kids. You can personalize the heck out of it. But you've got to have a machine that actually binds the book. And that's what this is all about. And the big guy was great, but it's huge. And it's heavy. And Allie might have the original one there. They shrunk it down into the mini, but it still gives you all the capabilities of the big guy. Plus, in our exclusive configuration, you get the chipboard to go with it. That's going to be the base of your books. You're going to get two of the winder bind, uh, wire binders. Those are included. You cut those to size. You're getting your little trimming tool so you can actually cut the binder edge and you can twist it. And of course, you're getting the cinch itself. Now, here's the scoop though. The price is going to end tonight at midnight. It's not on there, but I know I talked to the planning group and they said, look, we'll hold the price till midnight at only $64.95. And this is heavy duty and you will absolutely love it. So Allie, take us through this if you would, please. Yes, Suzanne, I'm glad you mentioned the larger one because here it is. There it is. This is the original cinch, right? Look at the difference there. You can do the same thing with this that you can do with this, but the size is so much better. I really appreciate that because, you know, some of us don't have a lot of space in our craft areas, so it's great to have something smaller that doesn't take up so much of your precious real estate. All right, so let me show you some of the fun features of this guy. So you've got a centering feature right here. So you can use that measurements. Um, this holds your handle down so you can store flat um, and then it tucks in right there. You've got a guide here to help you line everything up just where it needs to go and measurements here that tell you where to place this depending on what, what size your material is, right? And then you've got this here and that's where you're gonna hook your wires on when you're ready to put that book together. And then back here is your cincher and that's where you um, fold it up. Also on the bottom here, don't forget, this is where you clean out your debris after you punch. And, and honestly, Suzanne, I like to save that for confetti because it's basically circle punches. That's true. All right, so let's make a book. Here we go. We're going to make a gratitude journal um, for Thanksgiving, right, for the, the holiday season. And I've so already cute. gone ahead and started the cover and all the inside pages. So I'm just going to show you how to do this last page. Um, now, let me put that guide in A because that's where I need it to be. And then I'm ready to punch. And all I need to do is line that up in the back press down and then I move this guy out of the way and then I'm going to catch that second to the last hole and that's going to go right here in this peg that goes right down in there. Oops, I scooted it over too far. Okay, there we go. And then punch again and <laughs> whoops, I've got things falling down. Okay, and then you've got your holes, right? So that's ready to go. Now let's line this up. We're going to put everything together. And we're going to put, I've cut my wire already. We've got, by the way, you get those wire cutters. I love that. Um, and you've got everything you need to get started. So we're going to hook those onto here. And then we just start stacking all of our things together over the wire. And then we're ready to pull it to the back. Okay. And now the trick with the back here is you're going to want to get those um, wire ends, the ends of the wires, both the top and bottom flush with the back of that cincher. That's how that's going to end up cinching really nicely for you. Okay. So we do that. We're going to scoot over just a hair and get that second one. And there we go. Look at that. And then all you need to do is flip that cover and you've got a gorgeous notebook, journal, whatever you need. Calendar, uh, for the album. Calendar, yes. Just the, the album, ideas are endless, album. you guys, and people just squeal when they get it. Now, this is very easy to use. I know there's a couple steps to it, but honestly, what you th they, they have all the instructions are very clear, and do not get freaked out about it. Once you do your first one, you go, oh, that's so easy, and then you can knock them out. Now, if you want more of the book boards, we have that available. Also, I would check on hsn.com because we have had color uh, wires available as well. So there might be a whole bunch of extras on hsn.com. You get two sets to start you off right out the bat. And here's something I just want to show you that I did. Um, I have a Heidi Swap collection that was all these little journaling cards. And I'd never really used them for anything. And I thought, oh, you know what? I'm going to make a book. So I used her journaling cards, used the uh, mini cinch. And it's actually a book that I'm giving to my nephew and his wife because they just had a baby. So once upon a time, a couple meant it's going to tell the whole story up until the birth of uh, 
Fallon May here at the end. So, and it says here, happily ever after. So that's just reusing something I already had that was already made, and I just made it into a booklet. This we did, we had a really cute kit that was available, and it was a Merry Christmas kit. And again, people love personalization. So I wanted to make a whole Christmas story, which I'll include pictures. It could be the puppies, the dogs, the grandkids, journaling the family. And again, this was just out of regular chipboard that's included, plus I used cardstock, and then I used a card making kit to do all the embellishments on the inside. So if you're like me and you have tons of card making kits and you really haven't made that many cards, now you can take that and then convert it into these fabulous books and people genuinely love them. Graduation, telling the story of somebody's growing up. You know, it could be that wedding, how they met, and you hand it to them on their wedding day and they're like, oh my gosh, that's the coolest thing. You can make the family calendars instead of buying the pre-made ones. You actually make your own family calendars this year. And Allie, what I love is if you start looking around at the things around you, i.e. cereal boxes, you can really find a lot of creative things to make books out of. Yes, absolutely, Suzanne. And I love your ideas. Those are such cute projects and Thank they you. look terrific. Here are some Christmas cards, right? Um, Christmas photos. We're all getting these, you know, for the holidays. Oh, um, and what cute. do you do with them once they arrive at your house? I know we put them up on display, but then what do you do once you take them down? We'll bind them together in a little mini book, easy to do. And you don't have to do the whole length of everything. You can do just a small bit of cinching right there. And then you've got a little booklet. You can store that a lot more easily than you can, you know, when they're all separated. Um, so you are getting in this kit the eight and a half by 11 and the eight by eight. So you are set to make these beautiful projects, whether you need something for, you know, your, for school or for, you know, anything like that, or whether you just want to make a mini album or a journal um, for, for someone as a gift or whatever, you can also cut that chipboard apart and go smaller. Here's some four by six options and you can cinch on the side or on the top. And I just take my four by six photos, Suzanne, oh, and they fit right in there. Well, think yeah, about doing your really recipe. Do. Can you imagine taking all the family recipes and actually creating mini books for all the families, all the women of the families in your family? You know what I mean? So if you've got a big family oh, and you want to share grandma's recipes with everybody, can you imagine making these really sweet little recipe books and they can keep and preserve those fabulous family recipes? I mean, the ideas are honestly endless. Grab it while we have it, guys. This is an exclusive configuration. We've got four flex, which is great. And please remember, once you hit $10 on your shipping bill all day long, it doesn't matter if you were with me at midnight last night or you shopped in the middle of the night or middle of the day, you go back in, check out again. Our systems will convert everything to free shipping in the crafting world once you hit the $10 shipping mark. So basically, everything today ships for a $10 bill in crafts. But do not miss out because finally it's on the air. We've got it in stock. You guys have been asking for this. This is one of the most requested things I've gotten recently because you knew it was coming out. When was it going to finally air? And it's here, the mini cinch, and we've got it on sale. This will go up to $82.75 and even higher out at retail, and you will not get this configuration. All right, so Allie, I love seeing you as always. Thank you for hanging out with me tonight. Thank you so much, Suzanne. Great to see you. Okay, we'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay, Bye. we're moving straight on. I got one more thing to show you. And I'm very excited about this company because Alexandra's going to be joining me from Marker Forte. Or Maker Forte. I keep wanting to put an R in there. I'm sorry, uh, Alexandra.